Hi all, so welcome back to Mrs. Riley's Maths videos. I'm going to work through here a leave insert question, a, a section B question, which are the long questions. This is from 2012, so leave insert ordinary level paper 2012. So just to say this is eight years ago. So this is when the course had just changed and they were asking weirder types of questions. It's paper one and question seven. So I guess what I would be saying is don't panic too much about it. There are more recent examples of what the questions might look like. So hopefully um, this will make sense. But if it doesn't make sense, don't let it stress you out. OK, so just to say that um sorry that was my phone pinging first thing to say is that it's a long question it's 50 marks so what we're trying to do in these 50 mark questions is pick up as many marks as we can and if we get stuck on one part don't get don't stay stuck in it move on to the next part usually if one part is dependent on another then they give you enough they give you the correct answer or they give you enough information to go on and use that information in the part that you're going on to next OK, so here we are. Doctors sometimes need to work out how much medicine to give a child based on the correct dose for an adult. There are different ways of doing this based on the child's age, weight, height or some other measure. So basically they're saying they're going to give you a formula. You can see that there. And they're obviously giving you something to do with an adult, something to do with a child. There's a few variables, age, weight, height um, involved. And let's see what happens. So. In a way, the context doesn't matter too much. They're trying to be clever, I think, <laughs> and it, it can make it seem harder. So a lot of that language there doesn't actually matter. One rule for working out the child's dose from the adult dose is called Clark's rule. So this is called Clark's rule. And you can say, see here it says C is equal to W over 68 times A. So W is the weight. So this W is the weight. A is the adult dose. So A is there and C is the child's dose. OK. And the, the weight is in kilograms. The adult dose of a certain medicine is 125 grams per day. So I would be writing down here, A is equal to 125. Calculate the correct dose for a child weighing 30 kilograms. Now, the weight, a child of weight 30 kilograms. So here, that's W. So I'd be writing down W is equal to 30. Using Clark's rule, calculate the correct dose. So give the answer to the nearest five milligrams. So these, now hang on, do they tell us? So I'm presuming that we don't need to worry too much about the, the units. Let's just see how it works out. So C is equal to W, which was 30, over 68 times 125, okay? Because C was equal to W over 68 times A. So in this case, that's 30 over 68 times 125. Let's work that out on this. Uh, 30 divided by 68 equals times 125 equals, and the answer is 55.147. 55.147, which is 55 milligrams. Okay. I think that's probably straightforward. Next one. Another rule for working out the child's dose is called Young's rule. Below are three different descriptions of Young's rule taken from the internet. In each case, write down a formula that exactly matches the description in words. In other words, they're asking you to translate these words into formulas. Now, this is quite hard. So if you struggled with this, don't worry. Let's see whether we can get any help from it. State clearly the meaning of any letters you use in your formula. So. We might just stick with some of the, just to kind of remind ourselves of some of the um, variables last time we had C, which was, let's say C is equal to the child dose, W is equal to the child's weight, and A was equal to the adult dose. So we might want to use those, and that might be helpful to have those. The correct dosage. OK, so what we're going to do now is we're going to try and translate this English language into a formula that looks something like like this one up here. So we're trying to get the words here into a formula. So a mathematical expression used to determine a dose dosage for children. The correct dosage is calculated. So nothing there yet. <laughs> 
expect I suppose the drug dosage for children that'd be C the correct dosage is calculated by dividing the child's age now that's a new thing um, by an amount equal to the child's age plus 12 and then multiplying by the usual adult dose so we don't need the weight one here and the child dose yeah so that's going to be C and the adult dose so let's say C is equal to child dose a is equal to adult dose and then let's redo y would that be okay y for the child's age in years okay so c is equal to the correct dosage is calculated by dividing the child's age by an amount equal to the child's age plus 12 so the child's age would be so y is equal to the child's age so y plus 12 is equal to the child's age plus 12. So we have to divide the child's age by the child's age plus 12. So c is equal to y divided by y plus 12 and then multiplying by the usual adult dose. So the usual adult dose is a. So and then. So what I'm going to do is put that in brackets. So we know we have to do that first and then we have to multiply by a which is the usual adult dose okay the child's age which was y divided by the child's age plus 12 which is y plus 12 and then multiply by the adult dose that's that's tough going okay over the page young's rule a rule for calculating the dose of medicine